really paramount? Okay, nope, it's about to become a felony for you to wake me up at nine o'clock in the morning for the new Knuckle series. In fact, it's actually okay for that reason. Hello, procrastinator Sam here. And yes, we have some breaking news coming in this morning. Paramount Pictures just dropped the Knuckles series TV show official trailer. I expected we might have gotten something sometime this week because we know Knuckles is in an ad for the Super Bowl, but this this just came out of nowhere. So let me give you guys my reaction and analysis and let's just jump right in. Alrighty. You're an alien. It actually looks You're super powerful. Recently saved okay. the world. So we got shots from the movie. Yep. Sounds like way talking. What do you like to do for fun? Vengeance. Oh, the signpost sign? Oh, like a little bit of a game reference? Like reading or, or, or yoga. <sighs> he surprisingly looks just as good as he does in the movies. Hey, buddy. Is Sonic is in there. Finally relax? I yeah. Been a kid, no warrior. <laughs> he, he looks just as good as he does. I on Earth because I made a vow to you and the fox. So oh. I made myself Doritos ad. There you go. Nope, we are not turning our living room into some kind of gladiator fighting pit. What is Ozzy doing what? here? What? He challenging he, his greatest. Okay. This is interesting. I, this really is just. Is that our mailman? <laughs> it tails in there too. Place of battle. What so the heck? Begin my quest. Come with the hat? Most people think I'm a joke. I do not make jokes. <laughs> I make warriors. Okay. <laughs> What the fuck? So this is legit in the universe Without his little friend, of the movie, like just he's vulnerable. straight up. He's the key to oh, my newest creation. You worked for Robotnik. Bring me knuckles. Who the hell is that? Sorry, this lane is reserved. You think you can take my power? It's a people that bought from Robotnik. Do I look like I need your power? What are you talking about? Of course you need his power. What? It's the whole reason we're here. Wait, whoa, whoa. huh? Well, that looks crazy. I made Th a promise to protect this planet. Yo, Morgan is, yo, I need to see more of that. I just have a... I am. Okay. Ready. He has oh, flame. Someone's about to get slapped. The, okay. I, what the heck? This is so bizarre. Okay. All right. Six episodes of that. Okay. It's going to be a beautiful day. Hmm? Oh my God. You going to rescue him? No. He must learn to rescue himself. Uh, oh my God. Okay. I am, I am, I am so sh like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say right now. I have no idea what anyone else thinks about this because you know, I, it literally just dropped, but I, I, I need to, I need to like watch that through one more time and we're going to analyze and give you guys my thoughts. Uh, but <laughs> I'm just like so bizarre, so random. So let me talk about it for a second. Okay, let's run through this trailer one more time because there was a lot to digest there. And I know I probably wasn't even talking that much, but I just, I'm just more so shocked at the fact that, you know, I don't know what I was really expecting with the show. I don't know why it shocked me so much that it's in the universe of Sonic movies. I knew it was going to be. I just didn't really expect it to be pretty much everyone. I guess except Jim Carrey, uh, uh, you know, this is clearly taking place after the events of movie two where Jim Carrey dies uh, or Robotnik dies um, and probably before movie three. Um, so I guess this makes sense to add some sort of, you know, side plot here. So it doesn't do any harm to the to the to the, to the main stories that are in the movies. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get into that in a second here. But this is just so so interesting. I like seeing the, the reference to the goalpost in the game. You got to have those game moments in there somewhere. And I like that. And I like that. It's a classic uh, uh, Knuckles drawing. It looks great. It looks awesome. And yeah, what he likes to do for fun is vengeance. I, okay, yeah, sure. I mean, it, it fits, it definitely fits this iteration of Knuckles, the Idris Alba Knuckles. Um, so yeah, there's just, this could definitely be seen as a, a funny. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of funny moments here. Seeing Sonic here, this was great to see. I, I, I didn't really expect 
uh, uh, you know, the entire cast, but to see Sonic as well as uh, uh, Tails, that that makes me happy because I want them to add more of the game cast and start taking out less of the human characters. Now, I do know that the only reason there's no Jim Carrey in here, also just no, no James Marsden so far either, uh, probably because, you know, they cost too much, so they save them for the movies. Um, but I like seeing, you know, j just just having as many of the game characters on screen as possible because that's 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 the meat and potatoes. That's why we're watching. So it's good to see Sonic and Tails in this show in some form, uh, uh, you know, in any capacity. It is great to see them in here as well. How much of a role they'll have? Probably not. They'll probably be taking a backseat because it is a knuckle show after all, which is totally fine. But let's continue on here. He absolutely decks this random guy. These and I assume these guys are just people that bought off Robotnik. Robotnik's just been selling weapons to criminals. Okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> so he builds himself a home, uh, and it looks very Mayan esque. It looks very uh, uh, ancient, uh, mystic ruins type thing going on here, which is just hilarious. Um, but yeah, it, again, it, it is great to see Sonic and no Sonic Knuckles and Tails all here at once. Uh, it's great to hear. It sounds like Colleen O'Shaughnessy is back as Tails, Ben Schwartz as Sonic. So it's great to have the voice cast remain the same, even in the TV show iteration of it. That is great to hear. So yeah, so this is not a place of battle. So I'll begin our quest. So I guess that's his excuse to like get out of green hills go go do his own thing with wade like kind of go around have have uh this show maybe go somewhere uh will it have any of sonic's world or the mushroom world or or green hill or anything like that at some point i would definitely hope to see it i i know the movies uh didn't really get to stay there very much in the sonic world i would like to get a little bit more of that somewhere in the show uh, because it looks like there's a big budget here. I'm actually surprised with how Knuckles is looking. He looks just as high definition as he does in the movies. I didn't expect that. I was expecting a graphical downgrade, but it looks just as good. Um, I will say though, too, uh, Knuckles riding a Harley Davidson wearing his OVA Knuckles hat was not on my bingo card for 2024, but I'm happy it is now. Uh, it looks just ridiculous. It looks ridiculous. And I love, I love the hat. I love the hat. Him riding around in a motorcycle is just the most ridiculous thing. But, you know, if if, if Shadow could do it, Knuckles can too. Uh, okay, so I, I did talk about this uh, before. Uh, the whole aspect of the Knuckles show is Knuckles and Wade. It's kind of like a buddy cop type thing. And I like Wade's character in the movies. He's a great comedic relief character. And, you know, I don't have a problem with him at all. But I was, like, wondering how they're going to execute uh wade and knuckles on screen the entire time because you know as much as i like wade as a character again i i would have it would have been cool if imagine if this was a knuckles and sonic show instead or a knuckles sonic and tails like you know what i mean and the logo was like so sonic and knuckles like in the get like the way i imagine it is is did we need it to be tied to a character i don't know how they're going to pull it off just yet it looks like there's like some fun shenanigans and the show is taking it lighthearted, which is totally fine it's fine if they're taking it lighthearted, but you know I, I, you know, as a Sonic fan, I prefer the Sonic characters. So, uh, you know, I'm not going to hate on this too much. Obviously, I have to see how the show actually does. Uh, it looks like it's like six episodes or eight episodes. It's, it's not a long show at all. So uh, them doing this little side adventure does seem harmless. I'm not too against it at all. And it being tied to Wade, while I would have preferred something else, I'm still fine with it. I like Wade's character. But let's continue on here. They have a training segment, looks like. Where he's trying to get Wade to be uh, all all fit and stuff like that. Six episodes. All right, I was wrong. Six episodes. Now, all right. This is one that really threw me for a loop. I knew we weren't going to get Jim Carrey because, you know, there's no way they're going to pay for Jim Carrey for a TV show. They're just not. But they have this random guy <laughs> who I guess is evil. We've never seen him before. He has no ties to the, uh, to the games, uh, which, I, you know... I would have to say that too. If if I had to choose a villain for the Knuckles TV show, but we couldn't get the human a human actor like Jim Carrey, I would have chose something from the games. Uh, but they went with some random guy with a beard. So sure, why not? Some random guy with a beard who apparently buys from Robotnik. Yeah, he has a bunch of stuff from Robotnik. So who is he to Robotnik though? That's the thing that's interesting. Like why would Robotnik ever need him? 
Why would Robotnik ever need to sell his things? It just, you got to really sell me on this plot here. And I'm already starting to ask questions because I'm like, really? <laughs> really right now? Okay, sure. But yeah, so then this random mustache guy sends his two goons to go get Knuckles and Wade. But yeah, they, they have some fight scenes here. This is interesting. So this is that guy with the mustache uh, uh, beard in this giant mech. This mech looks crazy. And I hope we get a lot of fight scenes like this because this is this is where I'm like, okay, you know what? If you're going to have that human character and not a Sonic character, I, as long as it looks cool and there's a cool fight scenes, I'll be into it. And this looks great. This looks awesome. Um We'll see how much of this is actually in there. Now we gotta hold on. Now this is this is where the the majority of this of 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 this video is gonna be talking about. This uh, pocket they brought back and I'm gonna fuck up his name. I've been fucking it up since 1999. Paka Kamak, Paka Kamak. His name tag. His name tag is literally Paka Kamak. They brought him back. I. He's in the bowling alley. <laughs> Why is he in the bowling alley? The, the, this is so weird. So they brought back Paka Kamak from the, from the Knuckles, uh, from, from the Echidna tribe. Wait, 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 wait a minute. If they're... Th so he's alive. Wait, the, so the Echidna tribe's alive? Paka Kamak's alive? Or... Or, or is... Why is he alive? I am so confused. That just hit me. Okay. I have so many questions regarding the lore or story or writing. Like, how is he alive? Why is he alive? And why the fuck is he in a bowling alley? I I feel like there's a lot there's a lot I could say here that's gonna sound negative, but I'm gonna give the show the benefit of the doubt because it's not taking itself too seriously, and that's the good thing. As long as it's not taking itself too seriously and it's having fun and it's not harmful to the overall movies, then this is kind of like a whatever type thing. But I, I am really wondering how this is going to be. But getting shots like this, where Knuckles has fiery fists, which I love Sonic Heroes, this this brings me joy. So it looks like you know, regardless of of my mixed feelings so far with like the choice of characters and and how this is going to play out um it looks like there's great action it looks like it's high budget and it's taking it lighthearted. so i really can't complain too much it's looking pretty damn good so far there's two rings the rings are making a return so i'm wondering if there's going to be a lot of portals they're going to be launching to different when you add the ring portals into the plot that's interesting because they could then go to different universes and i'm hoping we get some of those sonic universes those magical universes the out of the human element universes because there's so much you could do with these characters i don't want them to be too grounded in the the human universe you know what i mean um and then knuckles is doing like this this screwdriver talk that we have in frontiers which is cool cool callback so, uh, I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on this. It looks lighthearted, so I'm not gonna give it too much shit. You know what I mean? I'm a diehard Sonic fan, so you know, I I am always gonna prefer the games, and I'm always gonna prefer stuff like the OVA iteration of Knuckles, or the Sonic X, or even Prime. I'm gonna, I'm gonna favor that Knuckles overall, always. Um, so I'm trying to look at this in the universe of the movie Knuckles. This kind of fits right in there. It's very comedic. Uh, the Idris Elba's voice sounds great as always as Knuckles. Uh, I'm happy to see Sonic and Tails is making a return. I hope we get a lot of them in the show. Um, and it's actually great to see, how, you know, this show is going to be how, Knuckles kind of settling in. We got that with Sonic in the movies. Uh, and Tails easily understands the human behaviors. But it's good to see, I guess, Knuckles kind of really being that fish out of water that we didn't get from Sonic. And as much of a cliche as that is, with Knuckles' writing, it could definitely be humorous. And I'm looking forward to that in some sense. I really am. His interactions with Wade will probably be pretty funny. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm definitely interested. You guys already know I'm going to watch it. I'm a Sonic fan after all. So no matter what, I was going to watch it just because, you know, it's Sonic. Um, 
but I will definitely give you guys my thoughts on it when it comes out. It is a six episode thing, so I'll probably just do an overall roundup review type thing, you know, when it drops. So make sure you guys subscribe, hit the bell, you guys know when I upload. Uh, but overall, in terms of mixed feelings I have, the characters, I, I would have preferred they just, if I was going to do a Knuckles TV show, if I was the one in the seat and I had to do a Knuckles TV show and we couldn't pay the big actors, I would have been like, okay, cool, let's do the Sonic characters because that's what people like. They decide to really stick with the human characters, so we're going to see if those human characters really step up to the plate. Are they going to be enough to buy me into that idea where we needed to have Wade, where we needed to have these two random agents that are going to be this random evil guy's henchman is that gonna be enough to sell me on that idea we'll have to wait and see pekka kamak why is how is he how is he alive does that mean knuckles is no longer the last of his tribe is this a flashback is he even real and why is he in a bowling alley that this is the big one where i was like the biggest like what the fuck is this show doing so that's my thoughts on the knuckles tv show so far my overall takeaway is what the hell are we doing so we gotta watch to find out stay tuned to the channel i'm not swaying negative i'm not even really swaying positive i'm just i'm here for the ride tell me where we're going where the fuck are we going guys i'm looking at pakakamak in a bowling alley Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am going to go to bed now because clearly this is a dream. This isn't real. This is a hallucination. I will see you guys later. Stay tuned to the channel. More videos coming very soon. And also I got a live stream tonight at 6 p.m. Eastern. With all that said, this is Sam signing out. See you later, procrastinators.